Hey, 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 YouTube. Okay, so we are going to do learning your machine, okay? Today we're going to be just talking about the machine and the certain functions on your machine to get you sewing. Okay, so we're going to first start off with um, the functions. Here we go here. So we have the functions. Um, you have your straight stitch. You have your triple stitch. You have your zigzag stitch. This is your blind hem stitch. This is um, sort of an overcast stitch right here. And then you have your buttonhole stitch. Here we have your stitch length, the lift of the stitch, and this is the width of the stitch. So you'll notice you'll need to go, um, you'll need to change the width and the length dependent on the project. Here is your double needle stitch. So when you're using a double needle, you want to press that button and then you can sew, but it will not work unless you press this button. Okay. Um, now here's just a, a little thing here and it just has all the different decorative stitches that you can use and it has the numbers and all that stuff. Sorry about the, the glare. Okay, now here you have, this right here is how you will wind your bobbin, okay? This little thing right here. I'm not sure how your machine is, but this is how it is on mine. This here is for your thread spool. So let me go grab a thread so I can show you. So this is for your thread spool, and you just stick your thread on there like that. Okay. And then these are the thread guides. It tells you how to thread the machine. Do you have your tension? Here's your tension here. Okay. So you have your tension, um, auto. Then you have your negative. So you want to decrease it. Decrease the tension. You want to go in the negative. If you want to increase the tension, make it tighter, you want to go plus, add, okay? But most projects, you'll be pretty much on the auto, okay? Then you have this part here. So this is this here is the extra thread holder when you're using a twin needle. So you'll have a, a spool of thread here and a spool of thread here when you're doing your twin, when you're using your twin needle. Now we're gonna come down here to um, these functions here. So here you have your back stitch. So when you press it, the needle moves backwards so you can lock in that stitch. So whenever you start a project, you wanna sew a couple times and then press your little back stitch button to lock it and then begin sewing. And then here we have your needle, okay? Here's your needle, and to um, unscrew it, this little thing right here, you loosen it up to pull it out. So you just loosen it up, and then you'll pull it out to change it. And then you just tighten it right back up when you're done. Um, you have the different feet, so you can take off and change the feet. Um, it's a little button in the back. It's a little button in the back. Let me see if I can find it so I can show you guys. Um, just little button right here. You just press it, and it'll it'll let go of the foot, so you can change your feet. And then you have this piece here, which is for your bobbin. And I'm just taking off the bobbin cover. Okay, so you would put your bobbin in there. Here's just one I have here. And you just put your bobbin in like that. And that's the basics of sewing. Well, not the basics of sewing. The basis, this is your machine. So this is all the parts in your machine and the different functions. And then you have other things. You got different feet, uh, zipper foot, and you have the blind hem foot. So you got different feet. 
this is your buttonhole um, foot for your buttonhole and some other different feet but your manual will tell you everything 